Thank you, Chair. Medicals Monday International would like to take this opportunity to address Agenda Item 7. Our statement is supported by the People's Health Movement. We commend WHO efforts to enhance and strengthen its capacity to respond to major emergencies around the world. However, it should be noted that WHO is not a humanitarian aid organization and it should not step away from its primary role as the premier norm-setting organization on health, charged with directing and coordinating international health decision-making and policy. While supporting reforms instituted to enhance WHO capacity to respond to emergency and development of the R&D blueprints, we have some comments and areas of concern. The use of public funds for R&D should address the needs of low- and middle-income countries, especially as regards to affordable prices for all health products. Capacity building for countries at risk should ensure benefit sharing and access to R&D information. It is essential to ensure transparency on the nature of private sector involvement in coalition for epidemic preparedness and innovation. While recognizing the possible need to use trial vaccines in emergency situations, it is also necessary to ensure ethical standards are adhered to doing conduct of clinical trials. The need to invest in emergency preparedness, response, and recovery is obvious, but health emergency program faces a critical deficit in funding. We urge member states to ensure full funding of the contingency fund and of the core and operational cost of health emergencies program. Resource mobilization should not only focus on situation of crisis, but for us, uh, also strengthening health systems, especially in low- and middle-income countries. Investments in robust health systems with capacity for surveillance, disease control, and prevention needs to be seen as the most sustainable method for preventing, mitigating the effects of health emergency. Thank you.